Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to Fallout 4. Now, I'm sure you've seen the introductory quests like a dozen times in your feed already. Plenty of people are making videos just uh, playing through the game from the start. I'm not going to do that. I took my time a little bit to get to know the game. Um, and uh, yeah, for this first video, I actually want to give you guys like a few tips uh, on some of the stuff that I found out. So I would say, first of all, the combat is not that easy. Um, and what you might want to do uh, for that is start off by taking a really good look at the um, perks that you can get. And, uh, and decide on how you want to go about uh, getting your combat abilities. I went with a lot of agility and perception so that I can use guns, uh, some sneak and now I also found a sniper rifle. So um, yeah, the combat it's not that easy, you want to be prepared. Uh, at my very first start I went with like a lot of intelligence trying to get through the game without any real combat skills and that didn't work out so well. So that's one thing to keep in mind, uh, combat not that easy. And then the, the uh, second thing that I would say is if you want to get a good grasp of uh, the, um, the crafting in the game, you really do want to start out with the quest uh, right here in Sanctuary to basically build up their settlement. And uh, let me quickly try and cover for you guys what that means. So first of all, you need to provide them with six beds. Um, now, uh, you can see that I... Think you're safe? You're not. That's how they always get you. Uh, so I start off by pussy putting these beds really close to the workbench because I uh, didn't fully understand how you could start building f further away from the bench. So I would always just like basically go into the bench, then um, special. Oh, I could actually craft that. Interesting. I'm actually going to quickly do that in just a moment. Um, but if we go for furniture, then you've got beds. And then you can select these beds. Maybe uh, it's something I also needed to figure out first. So you can get through the different categories with the left right uh, arrows. Uh, but then to go into subcategories, you need to go with the up and down arrows. So here, for instance, we've got then beds and then all types of beds uh, that you can make here. Um, and yeah, to uh, at first I was like, okay, and now I can maybe select something that I can build. Let's say a bed and over here you can see now that I can build it when it looks green. So that's how I placed the first uh, beds here. But it turns out if I uh, cancel that, press escape um, and then go out a little bit. Uh, there is enough other way to do that. And so maybe we'll make this like a little bit of a sitting corner um, and I'll put... I'll put, where would I put uh, her chair? Now, all you really need to do is press V, keep it pressed for a moment, and there comes the menu for you to build stuff. Uh, so what I'll actually do is I'll scrap this one, and then I'll put specials, Mama Murphy's chair, can rotate it with the mouse button, and we'll build it right there, so that she can actually sit down there and give me uh, all of the vision. So that is one thing to know um, uh, that uh, yeah, you can actually build stuff away from the uh, from the workbench by keeping V pressed for a while. Uh, the second quest was to provide them with water and that meant two water pumps and the annoying part for the water pumps is that you need concrete um, and so I was scavenging the entire town here looking for uh, like uh, something that would contain concrete, but it was really difficult to, to find it. The first one, somehow I already had that uh, available. Uh, so I made the first water pump right here, uh, but you needed a second water pump. Not even sure where I put that one anymore. Um, and that required more concrete. So what's the best way to actually get that? Scrap a whole house. Some of these houses like this one right here, uh, it's, it's a complete wreck and uh, there's really nothing you can do with this anymore other than to scrap it. And so again, all you need to do is just keep V pressed so that you go into the menu. And now I've got this house selected. You can see it's outlined in uh, yellow. I can press R to scrap it and that'll give me 15 steel, 20 wood, 15 concrete and 5 rubber. So I'll just scrap that and get those resources. A really handy little thing um, and I think everything that you scrap goes straight into uh, into the workbench anyways so that you have th that material available. 
And now for some other stuff, you can always go out there and hunt. And an easy way to transfer then is you press R and then T and all the junk that you found goes in here and becomes basically um, resources that you can use to craft more stuff. And uh, there's also over here a weapons bench. If I press craft here, I can uh, start scrapping stuff as well. Let's see what might I want to scrap. A couple of normal pipe pistols. Let's get rid of those. So just scrap these. They provide me with good amount of steel. Uh, I don't need two shotguns, honestly. Uh, still have the laser musket. This is my best uh, pistol. Really a lot of damage. Short pipe rifle, honestly, will get rid of you as well. And then a switchblade. I've got a combat knife, so that's all right. And so you can scrap here for weapons. Uh, then do I press tab to exit it? Yes. And then down here... I could park my uh, my uh, power armor here, but I've put that somewhere else for now. And over here in the armor, you can do the exact same thing. So uh, all the stuff that I don't have, I can scrap that mostly for leather. So let's get going on that as well. Everything I'm not wearing just gets scrapped. Exit. And yeah, those are the basics that you really need to get to know. Uh, after the water, I think it was uh, food. Um, the good news is you basically only need one piece of food to get it started. So here, for instance, now I have two corn. Again, let's let's show you how that is going to work. Uh, you press V, keep it pressed so that you get into the menu. Then you can go to resources. You can go to food. And I have two more corn so I can put this plant here. And then I can put another plant here. Um, then down here, let's see. I have some other stuff normally that I just gathered. So let's put that here. And yeah, got something else that I can put around here. So basically this garden right here. Um, if I can just press escape, it's going to become like the food production area. Uh, one thing that you do need to know is that you need someone assigned to pick up food. Um, but uh, it turns out that the old lady here is a farmer already, so you don't actually need to do anything except uh, plant the food for that quest. Pretty decently easy and, and doable uh, once you know that Groot food will grow. You can grab it and then it just starts to multiply. So that works out quite nicely as well. I think for the water. Yeah, look at that. I'm pumping water and I'm actually regaining health. I do have a little bit of radiation. Maybe I'll use a Radix. Uh, inventory 8. Medics. Uh, no. PQR rad away minus 300 rats you know what I'll just take one so that that goes away a little bit more water to heal up and there we go we are actually pretty much ready to go out there uh, the final part uh, is security uh, for for just getting sanctuary up and running and I build a turret right here next to the workshop I think that that's okay um, I'll show that to you guys as well Honestly, let's see. Am I just going to keep building around this part or not? I probably am. So we could set up some crossfire from right here. And let's build another turret. I should have the resources for that. So that's just go back down. Then we've got defenses. And here you've got a guard outpost, a turret and a trap. So I take the turrets. Uh, defense turrets. Heavy machine gun turret. Can't build that yet because I need gear for that. Laser turret, shotgun turret. Oh my god, there are so many of them. That's really cool. And some of them require power as well. Very nice. Oh, and I don't have gears for another machine gun turret. But that's basically how you build it. If I had just two more gears, uh, I could plunk down a second machine gun turret that's going to pepper anyone that comes in here. But I think that's most of the basics down then. At this point, you can... You know you can salvage all of the extra goods uh, in your workshop uh, to to get more resources your weapons in the weapons workshop and then your armor in here and of course your power armor you can put that in the station in fact that's probably what i'm going to do next uh, grab the power armor you know i'm i'm going to do that right now um, because part of it is also 
There is fast travel, so I can just fast travel to that location. I'll uh, grab my power armor and whatever goods I've got in there. And I've just decided basically for this first game, uh, it's going to be Sanctuary. That's going to be my main base of operations with, with those Minutemen here. So let's uh, enter the power armor that I've got. Okay, let's see if uh, I can... Oops, I wanted to do transfer. So I've got some room left. If I press take all, can I, can I actually manage that? Looks like I can. Uh, anything left in here? Nope, so that's emptied out as well. So at first I was a hard hat. You know, I'll take it, why the hell not? And then let's travel, sprint our way back up uh towards sanctuary and uh yeah that'll become my main base of operations and there is the power armor looks really cool of course i need to repair a couple of pieces um but basically that's what i've done i've i've done the the initial quests that you've all seen uh, a dozen times by now i'm sure uh, and then i went back here to sanctuary with the minutemen and uh, i helped them to get set up which gave me all of the experience needed uh, to really uh, basically know a little bit about the crafting and uh, get the feeling that, okay, I know now how to set up a first base of operation. Then there is a second pump, by the way. A uh, nice little trap for the machine gun turret if they would decide to go after that. Um, but then all I need to do now is just put that here because my fusion core is low, like that. And then I am overburdened, so let's just slow walk back towards the workshop. Workshop, uh, which again, I need to get used to the shortcuts, but then I can tee all of that crap. And most of it is now down there. And I'll need to check out whatever else is available in here. Maybe some of that food, I can condense that. Oh, and then there's, of course, the big machine gun, uh, minigun, which is an M. That's going to be pretty damn big. So let's also store that one. Yeah, that gives me a little bit more room to breathe. And then we can... Oh, now it's not escape. Yeah, in transfer, it's tap. Uh, that's maybe the one thing that I'll take some getting used to. Um, just uh, when you need to press tap to get out and when you need to press escape to get out. But over here, there's actually people farming. So pretty awesome. We've got we've got food going, uh, and uh, all the basics are basically done. I'm ready to start exploring this world, maybe doing some quests, uh, gathering more resources, and uh, build this up to uh, an impregnable fortress. For now, that's going to be my first look at uh, Fallout 4 for the crafting mostly. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.